Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you here, talking about the live Madison Square Garden show, which is going to be shown live on the WB Network October 3rd. Um, pretty fun. I think that WB um, really shot through their expectations with the Beast from the East show live from Japan, 4th of July morning early, um, early, early in the morning. Um, I'll say that, uh, honestly, uh, I, I didn't think that it would have the appeal that it did. I remember that uh, I made a joke that I was running to Walmart, um, that I was going to be getting uh, um, supplies uh, to watch the show. I picked up some chips, some drinks, some candy, um, just some things to get through. I think, I think that that show started at 2 in the morning on the East Coast, I, I think. I'm not 100% sure. One way or another, I, I made it uh, throughout the whole show, that main event was gruesome, um, but here we are, we're ganging up, ready for this Madison Square Garden show, October 3rd, and Brock Lesnar's opponent has been named, they're going to be doing Brock Lesnar versus the the big show, also listed on the card, it's going to be Rollins versus Cena, it's going to be Owens versus Jericho, Rusev versus Ziggler, Sheamus versus Orton, appearances by the Dudley Boys, Mark Henry, The New Day, Team Bella, and Stardust, now, I will say that honestly, when you looked at the Beast and the E show, it was a shorter show. Um, there was only um, four matches that were shown. And uh, it was fun because we got Neville going up against Chris Jericho, which was sort of a, a match that we had never seen before. Something that seems really fun. And that's the Kevin Owens versus Jericho match that you see here. Other than that, when you're putting uh, matches on here like Seth Rollins versus John Cena, Rusev versus Ziggler, Sheamus versus Orton, um, we're going to be seeing house show style of matches that are put on the WWE Network. At the same time, we're seeing these guys go at it pay per view after pay per view. Rollins versus uh, Cena, um, Sheamus versus Orton, and Rusev versus Ziggler are all matches that we've seen on back to back pay per views already. That are looking that they're going to be going towards a third. Um, to set their, their set their pace. So there's not really much that you can say about these matches that you already don't know about if you've been watching Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. But the Brock Show, um, sorry, the <laughs> Brock Show, the Brock Lesnar versus Big Show match to me has some appeal. If you think about, you know, the last time that these guys fought in Madison Square Garden was Survivor Series 2002. In this show, um, Big Show was the first person to beat um, Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman turned on Brock, um, causing Big Show to get the victory. Um, when, when they were trying to put together what was going to be Survivor Series 2002 live from the Garden, um, you know, there's a whole lot of things that go into the, what was supposed to, that, that match was supposed to be. It was supposed to be Hulk Hogan versus Brock Lesnar. This is where Hulk would get revenge um, for um, Brock uh, beating him on uh, SmackDown leading up into uh, SummerSlam uh, 2002 when he just sort of killed Hulkamania and he was rubbing the blood all over his body. Um, you know, Hulk had no problem doing the job for Brock Lesnar, much like he did for uh, Goldberg um, and Nitro um, way back in, uh, geez, what year was that? 1999? 98, I think, is when is when uh, Hogan Goldberg happened, and uh, from there, um, you know, Vince told Hulk that he would be able to beat uh, Brock, uh, more than likely at a Survivor Series. One thing leads to another. I think that uh, I think that Vince saw the writing on the wall that Hulkamania coming back for his nostalgia run, you know, as being a two time champion, didn't make a whole lot of sense, and he just basically cut Hogan off and just said that the match wasn't going to happen. And they ended up going in this different direction with Big Show beating Brock at the time. You know, Big Show had some appeal. You know, he was already losing appeal, but he hadn't lost appeal like he had now. Um, but, uh, you know, definitely this was the turning of Brock, uh, turning babyface, which, uh, you know, Vince thought was going to be huge for his business. And I think that he had the same appeal as a, as a babyface as he did as a heel. Um but uh, then that's what we're going to be looking forward to. I, I don't think that this is going to have the appeal. Uh, I think that it's going to be fun to watch a, a show on uh, the WWE Network live from Madison Square Garden. But I think that we saw when we saw the Beast in the East show, I think that, that was something that we weren't supposed to see. I think we were seeing something that, uh, you know, you had to stay up late for. It was almost like you had to put the work in in order to, to see the show. So we'll see what goes down. It's going to be October 3rd, live from Madison Square Garden on uh, WWE Network. Brock Lesnar versus The Big Show, Cena versus Rollins, Owens versus Jericho, Rusev versus Ziggler, Sheamus versus Orton.